Hello, boys and girls. I'm Bob Whitey, and this is Trailers from Hell. Um, I think we all have that list of films that people are always telling us we must see, and we know we'll get around to seeing all of them eventually, right? Well, 1964's Umbrellas of Cherbourg was on my list for years, and I'll admit I only got around to seeing it a couple of years ago. Uh, three words, worth the wait. Uh, directed by Jacques Demy, with a masterful score by his frequent collaborator, the great Michel Legrand, this is a beautiful and haunting film that just may stay with you forever. Um, I'll admit, when I first saw it, I was wiped out for the next couple of days. Uh, I remember going online to check out the response of others to see if I was crazy, but I found countless fans of this film who had the same reaction. Let's see why. Mais je ne pourrai jamais vivre sans toi. Je ne did I mention this was a musical? Well, it is, but unconventional for a movie musical in that every line of dialogue is sung, not spoken. A very bold choice in 1964. But there's no attempt at rhyming lyrics, so the dialogue comes off as naturalistic, as do the performances, so you get acclimated to it right away. This, by the way, is the film that launched legendary screen goddess Catherine Deneuve to international stardom. She plays 17-year-old Jean-Vive Amory, who works with her widowed mother in a struggling umbrella shop in the French seaport town of Cherbourg. And she's deeply in love with garage mechanic Guy Faucher, played by Nino Castanovo. These two romantic leads are so attractive and their chemistry so tangible that we absolutely buy them as being in love, which I think is one reason we find ourselves so emotionally invested in this film. And it may be a cinematic cliche now, but when Jean Viev sees Guy off at the train station, when he's drafted into the French-Algerian War, eh, just try not getting choked up. Quick shout out for the bold, eye-popping, saturated colors Demi utilizes in the sets and wardrobe. You'll notice that right away. And a very innovative use of a flowing pre-steadicam camera by Jean Rabier. But it's that ending, that ending that will haunt you. You'd never think the simple shake of a head at a gas station could make you grab for a tissue. But damn that score by Michel Legrand and the theme that would become an international hit I will wait for you, reprised throughout the film. We really, really hope she will wait for him, but sometimes fate has other plans. Mm -hmm. 